In this video, we're going to take a look at graphing integers on a number line, but we're going to see what happens perhaps when there really is nothing to graph. Okay, so let's take a look at this. We've got to, we got to read very carefully, because if we don't read carefully, then we could make a mistake. And the first thing it says, graph the following on a number line. All positive integers greater than negative 2. And now I did a question very similar to this in a different video. But we got to be very careful here. It says all positive integers. Okay, so we have to ask ourselves what's a positive integer? We say anything that's not negative. Oh, well, that, yeah, uh, that yeah, makes sense. Is zero negative? No. Is zero positive? No. Okay, so so zero cannot be included in this either. So we have to be very, very careful on what it's asking us. All right, so if we graph all positive integers greater than negative 2, if we don't graph negative 2, negative 1, or 0, we have to start at 1. And so we simply throw a white dot at 1, a white dot at 2, at 3, at 4, and so on and so forth. And remember, these have to be solid dots. Open dots means that we don't include it. And that's bad because that's what we want. Now we don't have a 10 here, but I'm going to put a dot there anyway. And then it, I would think it best, rather than to draw an arrow at the end, which means you kind of include all real numbers, uh, it's probably best to just put an ellipses at the end. And an ellipses is just three dots, bang, bang, bang. And that's how we would graph all positive integers greater than negative 2. All right, let's go ahead and clear that out. Let's tackle this other one here. It says graph on the, the following on a number line. All negative integers greater than 2. Well, how many negative numbers are greater than 2? Not many. I'd say 0. All right, so here we have there's no answer. Because there's none. So how do we express that? Well, remember that the integers are a set. They're kind of a, a group. And so we can express the empty set, the set that has absolutely no elements in it at all. There's a couple ways that you can do this. Number one, you could just simply draw a set of braces and put nothing in between. That is called the empty set. It means that there's nothing that exists to satisfy whatever uh, issue we have. All negative numbers greater than 2, there are no negative, or I'm sorry, all negative integers greater than 2, there are no negative integers greater than 2. So that's the empty set. Another way of writing that, and is perhaps the, the more used way, is to draw a circle and put a diagonal line through it. That also stands for the empty set. It is the symbol that math people and uh, uh, mathematicians and most likely just about anybody that would apply mathematics would use to denote the empty set, meaning the solution does not exist. And so that's how you would graph it. There's nothing to graph. You would just say, it's the empty set. There's no answer. That's how you graph.